Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Go Media webinar series. My name is Kayla Patterson and I am the Go Media Coordinator at GoAbroad.com. In addition to outreach and marketing for Go Media as a whole, I oversee Go Social, a comprehensive social media management and consulting service. You can tweet me at Kayla Pat or Go Media with any questions or feel free to email me at the address on your screen. For those of you who may not be familiar with GoMedia, it is a division of GoAbroad.com that offers online marketing services primarily for organizations within international education and travel. In addition to GoSocial, we're also currently focusing on a CRM system for international education providers called GoAbroad HQ. If you'd like to learn more about our products, please visit our website at GoMedia.GoAbroad.com. You'll also see the hashtag GoMediaWebinar on the screen. You can use this hashtag to share the webinar or to ask any questions via Twitter. With that said, let's go ahead and jump right into InstaWhat, a look at how to use Instagram. Instagram has been somewhat of a hot topic lately as more and more students, young adults, as well as businesses are adding the platform to their social media portfolio. And you may have also noticed an increase in universities and providers with a presence on Instagram. So today I'm going to briefly discuss what Instagram is and how it works, how you can get started using Instagram for your office or organization, as well as some best practices for using Instagram for business. So first, what is Instagram? Instagram is a social network, much like Facebook or Twitter, but is focused heavily on photos and videos. It was launched in October of 2010 and then acquired by Facebook in April of 2012, which gives you some indication of its early success. Instagram is unique in that most functions are only available via the mobile application, which is currently available for Android and iOS phones. However, you may view photos, videos, and profiles on Instagram.com as well. Other features to note include the seamless integration Instagram has with other social networks, namely Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Flickr, and Foursquare, as well as the fact that photos and videos can be embedded. So how exactly does Instagram work? It's really quite easy. First, you take your photo or video, then you crop it, apply a filter, add a caption, select your sharing options, and then share. Just like that, you can have beautiful images and videos out there for the world to see. Now that you have a clear idea of what Instagram is and how easy it is to use, here are some tips for getting started. The first step is somewhat obvious, but you should download the app on your phone. And my suggestion here is that if you've never used Instagram before, create the account for yourself personally so that you can play around with it and learn how to use it. Then, when you're ready to start an account for your business, use the Instagram for Business resource to help you. This section of the Instagram website outlines detailed steps, tips and tricks, as well as good examples of campaigns. You can find these resources by visiting the link on the slide, bit.ly forward slash start for biz. Finally, make sure you actually outline a strategy for how you'll use Instagram for your business. What will you post and how often? What themes, hashtags, and campaigns will you use? The next step is to learn best practices. And the first I'd like to share is to optimize your profile. This is very important so that you can appear legitimate and worth following on Instagram. As you're optimizing your profile, you should make sure that you choose an account name that represents your brand. If possible, use the same name you already use on Facebook and or Twitter. Next, add a profile photo, description, and your website URL, as well as link your account to your other social accounts for better social sharing. You can also add an Instagram tab or app to your Facebook page, which allows your fans to view your Instagram photos and feeds within Facebook. And finally, make sure you share a few photos and videos before you start promoting your new Instagram account. It won't look good if you don't have any content. The next best practice is to look at other businesses on Instagram for examples. 
This can be fun and incredibly useful for figuring out your own strategy. On your screen is a preview of what GoBrat's Instagram profile looks like from a computer. Feel free to search for us on Instagram using the username gobrat.com and follow us. Next, for best practices, you should learn how to use hashtags effectively on Instagram. In general, hashtags are a great way to tag content and increase followers and engagement on the platform. For example, you can see from the screenshot here that a simple search for hashtag study abroad brought up many related tags, and it also shows you how many Instagram posts include that hashtag. When you start using hashtags, first be sure that you choose them intentionally. Use specific terms related to the type of content or images you're sharing. Also make sure to observe activity on the hashtag, not only for anything inappropriate, but also for any similar tags that you could use. Finally, don't overuse them. Nobody likes to see Instagram photos with 30 hashtags. Plus, it detracts from any goals you have for an individual hashtag. Next, make sure that you're following and engaging with other users. You can't create your profile, share pictures, and just expect everyone to find you. So you should seek out users whom you'd like to follow you and interact with them. You can do a number of things via Instagram to interact, including following, commenting, and liking content tagging others in your own posts, as well as sharing content on other social channels. Last but not least, don't forget to revisit and revise your strategy. Social media is all about being consistently active, but also flexible, as the channels and audiences are always evolving. If you follow all of these steps and best practices, I'm confident that you will see success on Instagram for your business. That concludes our quick webinar on how to use Instagram. Now I know this was a lot of information in a short amount of time and you may have many questions. Please feel free to tweet us your questions using the hashtag GoMediaWebinar or email us at GoMedia at GoAbroad.com. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of the GoMedia webinar series. Please keep an eye out on the GoMedia Facebook page for future webinars.